Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, we will be discussing the acute coronary syndrome algorithm by ACLS given by the AHA in detail. The ACS algorithm is a set of guidelines that medical professionals follow when treating patients with acute coronary syndrome. The algorithm is designed to quickly identify and treat patients with ACS, minimize damage to the heart muscle, and prevent future cardiovascular events. This video is extremely important for anyone who is working as an emergency medical provider, so let's get started. Before we dive into the algorithm, let's briefly discuss what acute coronary syndrome is. Acute coronary syndrome is caused by the buildup of plaque in the coronary arteries, which supply blood to the heart muscle. Plaque is a mixture of fat, cholesterol, and other substances that can build up in the walls of the arteries over time. When plaque ruptures, it can cause a blood clot to form, which can block blood flow to the heart muscle, leading to a heart attack or unstable angina. Now, let's have a brief look at the algorithm. So, you got a call from the emergency department regarding a patient having complaints of chest pain or discomfort with or without sweating and breathlessness. Here, we have to immediately activate the ACS algorithm. The first step in this algorithm is the initial assessment of the patient. Remember, you have 10 minutes to evaluate the patient and give early treatment in the emergency department. In these 10 minutes, you have to complete the ED assessment, get an ECG, send all diagnostic tests, including cardiac enzymes, and give early treatment. Here are the steps we should take during these initial 10 minutes. Step 1. Check vital signs. Evaluate the need for oxygenation. Step 2. Establish IV access. Next, perform a brief targeted history with a physical exam. And finally, step 4 is to obtain the initial cardiac marker level. While doing this concurrent ED, general treatment is advised as follows. If oxygen saturation is less than 90, oxygenate the patient. Give aspirin 160 to 325 mg. Use NTG spray and analgesics such as Fortwin or morphine if pain is not relieved by NTG. Now, here comes the ECG interpretation. The overall algorithm here is based on ECG interpretation. First, if there is ST segment elevation on the ECG, start adjective therapies without delay. If the time from the onset of symptoms is less than 12 hours and there is no contraindication to fibrinolytic therapy, Consider reperfusion. Here are two goals of reperfusion. Fibrinolysis and PCI or percutaneous coronary intervention. We have discussed both fibrinolysis and PCI in brief in separate videos on our channel, or you can watch them from the link in the description below. Moving on, if the symptoms started before 12 hours and we have passed the early intervention phase, consider an invasive strategy and manage complications. The early invasive strategy is recommended for patients with ACS with onset of symptoms more than 12 hours ago if they are at high risk of future cardiovascular events. High-risk patients include those with elevated cardiac biomarkers, ST segment depression on the electrocardiogram, or other evidence of ongoing ischemia. The benefits of the early invasive strategy for patients with ACS with onset of symptoms more than 12 hours ago include reducing the risk of future cardiovascular events improving survival rates, and reducing the need for repeat hospitalizations. Now, coming back to ECG interpretation in the second scenario, which is non-ST elevation MI. The ECT changes include ST depression or dynamic T-wave inversion, which strongly suspect ischemia. Here, the immediate approach is invasive therapy as early as possible, which we have discussed earlier in this video. Along with it, start adjunctive therapies such as nitroglycerin and heparin as indicated. In this phase, it's necessary to get troponin levels, which must be elevated to predict the MI. Invasive therapy is important if there is refractory ischemic chest discomfort, recurrent ST elevation, ventricular tachycardia, hemodynamic instability, or if there are signs of heart failure. Finally, if the ECG shows no ST elevation or depression or there are nonspecific changes on the ECG, 
consider admission to a cardiac unit for monitoring and possible intervention. That's it, it's the ACS algorithm given by the AJ. Long-term management is required after ACS treatment to prevent future cardiovascular events. This may include making lifestyle changes, such as stopping smoking, eating a nutritious diet, and exercising on a regular basis. Furthermore, drugs like beta blockers, ACE inhibitors, and statins may be administered to address risk factors like hypertension, high cholesterol, and diabetes. To summarize, acute coronary syndrome is a serious medical emergency that requires immediate treatment. The ACS algorithm is a collection of rules that doctors use while treating individuals with ACS. By quickly identifying and treating patients with ACS, we can minimize damage to the heart muscle and prevent future cardiovascular events. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next video. Thank you.